What's really good, everybody? Welcome back to the Sting. The show that keeps you up to date with not only Alabama State football, but news, updates, and coverage around the HBCU world as well. Well, those Alabama State Hornets are sitting at 5-0 after an 0-3 start to the season. The Hornets are moving right now. Let's do a recap on last week's game versus Southern. Everything was clicking today. This is probably the best game we played under Joseph Cooley. Everything was clicking. Offense, defense, even a little bit of special teams. Bobby Newton passed for three touchdowns yet again. Justin Chambers, well, it's automatic at this point. We expect nothing less from Justin Chambers. The receivers were actually doing a good job making catches. Look at this Moss catch by Jason White over that DB. Jason White has been awesome so far this year. He's still dropping too many passes though. The defense was on it. Two interceptions from our defense. And our X Factor, Cal Gray, was everywhere against Southern. He threw a touchdown. He ran a touchdown. And he picked the pass off in the end zone. The man did everything for us in this game. We needed him a lot. And when we also needed another pick, we got it from our walk-on middle linebacker, Stovall. Blake Stovall now has three interceptions in his young career. He's just a freshman. He's going to ride that scholarship out to the wheels fall off. But back to Cal Gray, our X-Factor two-star recruit out of, I believe he was out of Decatur. This man, this is what we wanted from this man. It's still undecided whether or not we're going to keep him at free safety or move him over at quarterback for season three. But right now, Bobby Newton is showing progress. Kyle Gray is showing progress on defense. He has over 1,000 yards rushing this season just off the power option alone. Now, Jackson State almost beat Navy. Wow, 21-16. And then Alcorn and Alabama A&M went into overtime up in Huntsville. Mississippi Valley State beat Prairie View. Then you had Texas Southern triumphant over Arkansas Pine Bluff in their rivalry game down in Houston. Next, and I believe this is the last game, we have Bethune-Cookman falling to Grambling State. Wow, man. Grambling only won two games so far this year. Meanwhile, over at the Sun Belt, a.k.a. the MEAC, Howard loses by one point to Delaware State. North Carolina A&T, they beat Norfolk State by eight. And then South Carolina State beat Morgan State 49 to 17. They didn't play this week, but it looks like Tennessee State's going to run away with it again. Either them or South Carolina State. That's still to be determined. Now, as far as our in-season recruiting board. We reached our goal. We got five players to commit during the season, making it easy for us to recruit in the offseason. I'm very excited about the linebackers that we got, Lawrence Martin and uh, Jamal Sykes. I'm also excited about getting Tim Brown, too. So, yeah, let's look at the Heisman watch real quick. So, you got Nick Blunt up in first place, Chris Lee, the senior quarterback at Florida. Eric Schroeder down at Wisconsin, Adrian Peterson at Oklahoma, junior year, and then Andre Caldwell, rest in peace for the Florida Gators. Now, Joseph Brooks won NCAA Defensive Player of the Week. Seven tackles, two forced fumbles, and two fumble recoveries, along with a, with a sack. David Lawrence went off too, man. Look at that. 13 receptions for 261 yards and two touchdowns. i give anything for any of my receivers to have 13 receptions in one damn game. Now, look at Derek Campbell going off 12 catches, 187 and three touchdowns, and Delaware State's big win over Howard. And then George Nunez in the same game, seven tackles, one interception, two fumble recoveries. Wow. We got some ballers at these HBCUs, bro. 
Now, let's look at the standings. As of now, Alabama State and Mississippi Valley State surprisingly would be facing each other for the Max Swag Championship. There's still a lot of football to be played. We still got to play Jackson State. But before we get to that, we got the biggest game of the season. We got to go up to Huntsville. It's the Magic City Classic. Yeah, Alabama and them sitting at 1-7. They're not having the best season. And no, there's no Akil Glass over here, homie. But guess what? We got an interesting matchup up there in Huntsville. Join us next time for the Magic City Classic. Peace.